Good morning everybody, welcome to the channel. Lovely, lovely day. A little bit chillier though actually, um, I think it got to about zero overnight, so zero degrees Celsius, so that's uh, certainly the coldest so far this, well coming into winter. Um, so yeah, got the jumper, the jacket, everything on, and there's a bit of a mean breeze at the minute, so that's certainly putting a chill through us. But we're here um, at the other main farm, where we have been um, planting the barley and we had ran out of seed, which we knew was gonna happen, but we've only got another 60 hectares here to do. Um, so we just, whenever the seed comes in and we probably don't really wanna sow with the, when it's quite windy. So we might even wait maybe two, three days for that to finish before we continue on here. But what is gonna happen is the vlog where we had to replace this because the shaft in this ram had broken. Um, and probably the cause of that was uh, when, it, when we first got it, these two stoppers here, which clamp on the sides, you might, we might be able to show that better on the new one, but one of them was just up out a tooth, I think. So it was obviously forcing um, the, the shaft to just flex a little bit every time it bottomed out. So that probably, I don't know how long it was like that, and then Phil changed it over and it's ran for like four years or whatever, fine until it broke. But we got a new ram and the new one's leaking. So uh for whatever reason whoever boss get these rams from um, must have had a bad batch so they went through tested all the ones that they had there and um yeah have sorted those issues out i believe and we've got a new one to put on so um, we've just been running it because it's not too bad that we can't use it it's just a bit messy but it's got us out of a pickle and it's been good so that's what we're doing we're going to replace that i've got our strongman our local strongman with us josiah <laughs> <laughs> so he's, he can do the heavy work um, but yeah we better kick it in the guts lift her up we'll put the stand down and take the weight off it so this is the new ram and yeah these are the stoppers that you need to slide in and out up and down to um yeah get them right so we'll double triple check that I oh, know we'll better put the stand down here See if I can see if there's any movement here. Let's go down. Whoop! I think that's pretty good. I saw that just move. We shouldn't spurt ourselves with oil too much, hopefully. gonna have to bleed the bit of air or whatever out of it so give it a good test wait for it to go all the way up and then I'll lift this stand up gotta love self-phasing rams make sure it all works those stoppers are beautiful right that's one job ticked off um, so we're just gonna take today I think to tidy up a few loose ends and then tomorrow we're gonna hit the row gator so we've got the hydros back for it and the wheel motors and all of that so we're gonna try and get that done 
Um, there might be a few odd, odds and ends to tidy up, but hopefully we can get the bulk of it done this week. Uh, yeah, fingers crossed for that one. I'm here at the development block and you can see little canolas coming up. So there is, the rows are forming. Um, they still, it just takes a little bit for them to come through and it is actually a bit chilly this morning so that's gonna, the ones that haven't come up are gonna probably slow down a bit as well. It's uh, one of the best parts of farming is when you put a seed in the ground and watching it come through, hopefully. So we've got everybody here except for Phil. Is that right? Yeah, but this could be here. Oh, hello. No, no, no. Sorry, we're just distracted here. That's on the bottom. So, anyway, this, this uh, yeah, these are the hydro motors, no, the hydro pumps. Um, and yeah, they've given it a nice lick of paint. Don't you love sending stuff away and they paint it when they redo it? So, yes, we've got to figure out all the fittings, where they go, and we've got photos to figure that out too. I'm pretty sure it was a front yeah, that's right. um, pump that was the stuffed one, wasn't it Brad? That's the front pump. Oh, yeah. That's the front yeah, yeah, the front, the front one was, so that's a new one. Yeah, that's all brand new. -y. Brand spanking. See? Look at that. <coughs> so that's, that's one thing that's happening. The other thing is I think Johnny had pulled the fuel tanks off. Um, which should help us with access. But also there was a leak. So I blocked every fitting off and pressurised it with air. Oh, and you can. And this one here. Oh, that bolt there. Through there, there's a crack. Well, that makes sense. That would make sense because it was only when you filled it up, the last sort of 10%, it would leak. So we've got a new fuel tank coming. Um, and what else is happening? Don't know. I think we're just getting ready to put the wheel motors and the hydros back in and try and remember where everything goes well we're just at the time consuming part well i guess all of it's going to be time consuming but we're really just putting all the fittings on that we know we've got all the pictures the um the place we sent it to they do a massive print out of um pictures and numbers and everything they all the bits and pieces that you send up with fittings come in separate little sections in bags and numbered and it is just yeah really really helpful so um yeah like every little pump that's been pulled apart they've got pictures so we can see um we can if we've lo lost any of the our numbers or whatever when it's been painted we can um always go back to this and see what's what so it is a bit of a mess there but we're working through it um over here yes it's not advised to do it this way but thing is is when we're up on the row gator um, yeah, there's probably more, like, because you're, it's just awkward standing up there doing all that, so there's probably more of a chance of contaminating, um, by trying to put the fittings and the hoses on all together up there, than it is just to have it here, where it's out of the road, nothing's falling in it, and, um, we'll get the fittings all right, according to the pictures, so we can just get it down in the guts of it, where it needs to be, and just start hooking hoses up, so, um, yeah, less chance of us standing on stuff and dirt from our boots getting on stuff and all of that. So that's what we're trying to do. We haven't really been doing anything that we could time lapse or show what we're doing easily. So it's just going to be a couple of little updates here and there. But we've just um, finished flushing all the lines from the wheel motors. So how we did that is basically just got the um, diesel tank there. We'd put a little bit of diesel in the lines and blow it through um, and it would have a clear rag on the underside checking for any um, contamination or anything like that which we didn't really find anything so we gave it another couple of flushes um, each of the lines to the wheel motors there's three on each wheel motor and it's looking all good so what we're going to do is we're going to have a quick bite to eat and then we're going to put the um, hydros in it so by the end of today I'm may happen it may not but i'm hoping we can have that pretty well all buttoned in with the most of the fittings on um so yeah then we can we'll probably have to give it another wash um and just with the diesel and oil and that that's sprayed all over it again which is unfortunate but we'll um yeah give it a wash and then it's probably not going to be till the end of the week or a couple of days until the fuel tanks get here 
um, which we need to really put them on before we put the cab on. So we're sort of, there's a bit of a hold up, but as long as we get the hydros in and everything hooked up that we can, and we'll do a couple other jobs like the water pump and things like that, a bit more preventative maintenance while we're here, then um, yeah, then we'll be in a lot better condition to just whack it all together um, when the bits get here. Right, so moment of truth, we're actually gonna come in this side um, because we don't have anything in the road there. But also because we've got the little platform on this side um, that, yeah, I can direct guide it and do all of that. So I've got a bit of wood jammed in here so this can't slip off or move up and down because that would be unpleasant. Um, but yes, we are making progress. I just hold my breath until we get this all bolted up, I think. Righto. Don't want to get underneath it. We might, um, have we got that come along? Should be right, lift it up. I'll put the come along on after. Yeah. Keep going. I'll fly up there. Um, oh, it should be able to loop around that come along, maybe. I don't know. I'll get up here and have a look. See if I can't slip over. Have you got the side right. that way? I think it is, isn't it? Looks like it. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'll just uh, come in straight now. Yeah. Right, I'll just uh, come in. Because they were all zip tied up, but yeah, yeah. Oh, pretty good. Pretty good. Pretty good for now, yeah. Right, oh. Down. Okay, coming. Just gotta watch that. Yeah, fitting on the other side. Yeah, just pull it. Okay, coming. Keep coming. Yeah, just just for a bit. I think we're good. All right, good. Just hold it there for a minute. We get ourselves sorted. Looking pretty good. Isn't it? Okay, go. Down a bit. Just wait there. That's ten on the side. All right, go down. They were there, out of the way now. <laughs> <laughs> You'll see what you can get. Right, well, it's all in there. That all actually went not too bad, so now's the fun part. We'll have to try and find and double check, triple check, and make sure everything's in the right spot and hook everything up.
just about to call it a day. Um, we pretty well got all that we were hoping to done. So the whole hydrostat system is in and mostly buttoned up. There is one hose that we've somehow lost. Um, so yeah, not sure whether it's just been caught up in other stuff and done something. It's a pretty big hose, so it's pretty impressive to lose it, but we've um, got the fitting that it hooks to anyway if we need to um, get one made up. So that'll, um, yeah, we may have to just do that. So yeah, it's a bit of a mystery, that one. But uh, yeah, tomorrow we'll probably keep working on it. A couple other things, we've got all the wheel motors to put in and water pump and yeah, just double check a few things and all of that, so. Well guys, it's the next day. Um, it's all going as well as can be expected. We're losing a few things, making a mess, getting covered in oil. Does that sound about right? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, um, Johnny and Josiah are currently just dealing with the wheel motors. Um, we didn't get to do them yesterday. Um, so how's it looking in here? So that's them there. And getting all plumbed in. So that will be good. And I have just been looking busy. Trying to sort out a few of the finer details um, so things like some of these hoses that might be rubbing on other things I've got some other ho like just yeah cut up some hose and clamped it around there um, yeah just just things like that because we're not pulling the cab off this again hopefully <laughs> so um, yeah double check and everything's tight nothing that's been forgotten and zip tying up a few cables, things like that. What I've got to do is back this, the old 9G Chamberlain out with a fuel trailer here. Josiah had a lot of faith in me and drove it straight in here. And I think he was just presuming I'd sort it out with the double pivoting trailer. So let's, uh, let's see how this goes. Old Faithful. Nice if it had power steering. Well, I think we've got pretty well everything in good shape up here, so we're going to start putting a f the few bits and pieces that we can. Um, so this bar here is for the cab mount, um, and it also holds on the exhaust system. So that goes across here, so everything here is fine, so I think we're, we're pretty right to... Hopefully. Can't think of anything, Josiah. I think we're good. Here we have Josiah, he's slaved away all afternoon to get that out. <laughs> no, he's just, he's just carrying it. So Johnny's been working away at that one. Um, so it's not as easy as you'd think. Is that torch there, Johnny? Yeah. Oh yeah, look at that. So the water pump bolts up there and it's a belt driven water pump. So 
We were hoping that we wouldn't have to pull a fan and everything off, but you had to to get to the bolts that were behind it, and then you had to pull, what else do we have to pull off? The air conditioning, compressor. Air conditioning, the intercooler pipe, the bonnet bracket to the <laughs> block. So for what should be a bit simpler job, it just didn't work out that way. But anyway, it's off. So we've got a new one, new one there. It, um, it's one that Brad's, because this used to be the um, sprayer Brad was contracting with for a while. So he bought a new complete water pump ready to go straight in if there was ever an issue, um, which I don't think you can get anymore. I think you can only buy a, a service kit for him. But he liked the idea of having one there ready to go. And um, yeah, it's been good because it's there ready to go. Um, and I've replaced the a uh, couple of the idlers um, there were new ones of that, that he had ready to go as well and the main tensioner um, we just replaced that while we're in here so that's um yeah we do have a new compressor coming there's this one showing signs of just a bit of seepage and weeping out the seal so um, we're going to do a new compressor tx valve and receiver dryer obviously and then yeah that should be all sorted so I'm not entirely sure actually whether we'll be back here this week. It might be next week, who knows? We're still waiting on a couple of bits, but we've got a few things ticked off the list. So the hydros are in, everything's plumbed up, um, apart from the hydraulic tank, um, which we can't do until the cab's on. But yeah, we're, it's looking good. We've got the exhaust system up. Um, that's all bolted up. That's what Josiah's been working on. So we've got it all up making sure everything's right and if we see an issue while it's all apart we're taking the time to fix it so hopefully by the end of this we'll have two sprayers that are in reasonably good condition after all the time we've been spending on them but um, that's just what it is that's how it is with machinery so we'll sign off here um, this might be the end of the video so just remember to hit the like button if you enjoyed it and subscribe if you haven't already and we'll catch you in the next one